If you have an iPhone that's running out of space, you might want to check this. So I upgraded from an iPhone XR 64 gig to an iPhone 14 128 gig because I was always running out of space as I was starting to make videos on my phone. Never had a problem. Phone worked great. Then one day, you know, this is a year ago, it says you're out of space. So I said, oh, okay, so let's go delete some stuff. So I delete some stuff, you know, longer videos. I have CapCut on the phone, and that's where I edit the videos. So there's a lot of old projects that I didn't need anymore, so I deleted those. And then I got some space back, but not that much, maybe five, six gigs. Then later on, it was out of space again. Like, huh, so I deleted some apps. It, it seemed to be that no matter what I deleted, it was just out of space again. Even if I would get a gig back a few hours later, out of space. So then I went wild. I deleted everything. I deleted videos. I deleted apps. I mean, the phone was basically only having the most necessary apps still out of space, out of 128 gigs. So... So I went into the settings iPhone storage and it tells you what's using all the space. So CapCut uses about 20 to 25 gigs with the, the videos that are in it. And then it said maps was 48 gigs at the time. And I was like, what? How is that possible? So I looked up how to remove that the data and I tried all the steps from all the videos. Nothing worked. I gave up. I finally just dealt with it. So basically every day I had to delete something in order for it to let it work. It, it, also, if you reboot the phone, you get about a gig back. So now, fast forward to now, it went from 50 gigs to 60 gigs. Now it's at 74 gigs. I mean, it's insane. I don't know why it's doing that, but that's not the point. It won't let me erase the, the, the data. So I finally just recently found a video. It says, this is the 100% guaranteed way to delete the maps data. Did everything in that video? Same thing. <laughs> Even people were commenting in that video. They're like, this doesn't work. Help, please. So, yeah, I mean, I, I gave up. There, there was just absolutely nothing, unless you're just going to have no apps and no pictures on your phone. And I deliver a lot during the day. So I might visit five or six addresses in one day. So I have tons of map data. And I removed the offload option. I cleared the recent history. I, did, I uninstalled maps. It, the data is still there. Nothing works. And then I had a theory. I was like, wait. Hmm. What if I update the phone? So it was on 17.6. What if I upgrade it to iOS 18? Well, I couldn't do that. <laughs> because in order to download and update the iOS, you need 16 gigs of free space, which I can never ever have, right? The most I can get is 5 or 6. And I can't delete CapCut because and then I'll lose all my projects. I deleted Adobe Express even just to see if that would help. And I got really mad because it erased all my projects. All my templates for thumbnails that I've done over the past year, they're all gone now. I mean, I don't necessarily need them, but I was just using like the same template over and over again. So when I put Adobe Express back on, they're, they're gone and I was like oh no it, it was so convenient for me to do it that way so I have to start that over again anyway I thought you know I gave up it's been two weeks now and I just said forget it and then I just I had a I just had a something just popped in my head last night actually and I thought why does the phone have to download to update can't it just update? And then I thought, oh, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, 
if I use the computer, it'll download it on the computer, right? It won't download it on the phone. So I plugged it in. I didn't even have iTunes. I had to install iTunes. Plugged in the phone. Did the download update thing. It had to back up the phone first, which took forever. It took like half an hour. And then I just needed 1.6 gigs for the update if you do it from the computer. So I deleted a bunch of stuff again. Got two gigs back, plugged it in, did the update, rebooted. When I came back in, the maps data went down by 20 gigs. I was like, cool, all right, 20 gigs. Then I checked it again, it went down more. And then I checked it again, it <laughs> it kept going down. It was weird. It, it was like shrinking. All the history was leaving the phone. And now I have, let's see. I have 70 something gigs available of space. So that's cool. And the maps data is, where is it? The maps data is, it's not even showing. Oh, the maps data is 110 megabytes. Perfect. That was it. All I had to do is update the phone. And nobody's, nobody said to update the phone to fix the problem. They're, they're telling you to do all these things. And I, I think they assume that you have updated the phone already. That's probably why they don't mention it. But the thing is, if you're out of space, generally speaking, you can't update the phone. So that's why I was stuck on 17.6 for so long. I, I tried to update before. I never could. So there's your solution. If your maps data is multi-gigabytes, honestly, it sh if you don't use offline maps, you shouldn't even have more than a gig of ma maps data because it's supposed to erase after a while. So try that. If you have a phone that's full of maps data, update it to the latest software and see if that fixes it. All right, thank you.